Hey guys, this video is on my $50 shop computer setup. I didn't want to build a full PC for the shop and have it end up getting clogged up with dust and burn out. So I used this thin client to remote desktop into the PC in my house. They use a laptop power supply so you don't have any fans running inside. The monitor is an old 4x3 that I dug out of a dumpster, so that was free. The speaker is an old CB radio speaker that I had lying around. The most expensive part on this setup was the keyboard, which ran me 30 bucks. We'll go over that later in the video. This thing only has a 500 megabyte flash drive in it, so I have it set up to boot into TinyCore Linux. Now I don't recommend this version unless you're a major nerd. I thought I was. I used to work in IT. I can write code in like eight different programming languages. I've run multiple Linux distros in the past, but this one was a pain to get set up, especially to get the sound working. Once it loads, it runs this script that waits for a network connection and then starts up free RDP, which is the remote desktop client. And now we're logged into my Windows 10 machine in the house, so I can do anything here in the shop that I could do in the house. There is some latency going through remote desktop, so I'm not going to be playing Cyberpunk 2077 out here, but for bringing up PDFs of wiring diagrams, or watching a YouTube video in the shop, it's doable. The keyboard I'm using is a TG3 with integrated trackpad. It's a mechanical keyboard with a rubber membrane, so it's dust and spill resistant. You do have to be careful with the trackpad not to get grease on it. These are mil-spec keyboards. A while back, a bunch of these got dropped on the market as government surplus. There's only a few on eBay now, so pricing seems to vary. The thin clients go for under 25 to 50 bucks used, so if you can scrounge up a free monitor, use a generic keyboard and mouse, you can still be well under the $50 for the whole setup. The thin clients today have larger hard drives and more RAM, so if I was doing this again, I'd use a better thin client and then run a full version of Linux Mint or Ubuntu on it. You can probably get some of these to run Windows 10. The thin clients are designed to sit in corporate environments and be left powered on 24-7. There's no moving parts inside, so there's not really anything to break or go bad. Now I wouldn't recommend using a thin client as a dedicated desktop. You're going to have performance issues. But using it to remote desktop into another machine, all the work is being done by the other machine that you're remoting into. So it doesn't matter that the thin client has a crappy CPU or limited RAM. And if the thin client gets damaged out in the shop, you haven't lost any of your files since those stay on your main PC in the house. Anyway, that's how I do it. Thanks for watching. Check out my channel if you haven't already. See you later. Bye.